同学们，你们好，这里是悠悠的汉语教学频道。今天是 New Practical Chinese Reader Book Three 的第三十六课。Approaching to the end, I hope you're feeling okay about your study. Some students wrote to me. They said that,、uh, "Hey, I'm learning every day, but I don't feel I actually learn anything," which is pretty natural because as your level is getting higher, so as long as you're study, you don't need to worry about it.、Um, I'm sure you're making progresses, so you're improving yourself. Yes, trust me. So just don't give up. If you're continuing learning, you'll find your difference someday. So if you're not、uh, feeling like this now, just、uh, pause a bit, let your brain rest for a bit, and then when you get more inspiration or when you get more energy, and then you can just continue. Okay. So as long as you're learning, you're improving yourself. So you have to trust me and also trust yourself. 我们来看一下这一节课的标题：北京热起来了。北京 ，the city capital， 热 ，hot， 热起来了。Is getting hot. 起来 here doesn't means to get up from your bed. 起来 is another grammar point we will be study today. 好，这节课我们会围绕三个话题展开。We have three topics. 第一个，谈论气候 ，to talk about the climate. We talked about the weather in our book one and two, but this is a very important lesson because we will be seeing something about the climate too. 第二，给建议 ，to make some suggestions. Of course, today's content is different from what we learned in our previous lessons or books. 第三，表示可能性 ，to show some possibilities. Okay. 首先，让我们来看一下对话一。小燕子。我有个朋友要来中国旅游，他问我什么季节来比较好。中国这么大，气候一定很复杂吧？没错，从热带到寒带，各种气候，中国差不多都有。北京的气候有什么特点？一年有春夏秋冬四个季节，非常清楚。可是我觉得这里只有冬天，好像没有春天。北京有春天，应该说这里的春天很短，冬天很长。三月房子里的暖气还没停，现在都四月了，气温才十一度，我还穿着羽绒服呢。是啊，从十一月到第二年四月，北京天气都很冷，常常刮大风，有时候还下雪。三四月，南方各种花都开了。可是北京还比较冷，有时候人们还得穿着冬天的衣服。就是你看，我就穿的这么多，连路也走不动了。可是北京一到五月，天气就热起来了，姑娘们也开始穿裙子过夏天了。我很喜欢北京的夏天，当然最好秋天来北京旅游。对，秋天是北京最好的季节。天气很凉快，不刮风，不下雨，不冷也不热，非常舒服。你朋友秋天来得了吗？我想他来得了，不过还得问问他。除了秋天以外，别的季节也可以来中国旅游，因为各个地方的特点不同，一年四季都有很好的旅游路线。比如，春天可以欣赏江南山水。秋天可以游览内蒙草原，夏天去东北，冬天到海南岛。我这里有一些旅游介绍，你可以寄给他。太好了，我一回去就给他打电话，让他秋天来。就是秋天来不了也没关系，还可以有很多别的选择。对，什么时候能来就什么时候来，想去哪里就去哪里。小燕子，我有个朋友要来中国旅游，他问我什么季节来比较好。中国这么大，气候一定很复杂吧？什么季节？你也可以说哪个季节，意思是 which season。季节的意思是 season。Before 比较好 ，we can either put a sentence or phrase， 意思是 it's better to do something。我们看课文中的例子
什么季节来比较好 ？So which season is it better for people to come here? 再来看一个例句，哪一个方案我们用比较好？哪一个方案？意思是 which plan? Which plan is better for us to use? 没错，从热带到寒带，各种气候，中国差不多都有。没错，或者是对。Either of these two is used when you agree with what the speaker had just said. So usually we don't use that to answer yes, I do, no, I don't, but we use it to、uh, express our agreement of our previous speakers. 各种气候，好的，各 classifier now. And usually, with do means all kinds or all types of something. Usually means no exceptions. And do is needed if verbs are put after the noun. 我们来看课文中的例子，各种气候 ，all kinds of climates. 中国基本上都有 ，China has almost all of them. 再来看一个例子，各种方法我们都试过了。或者你也可以说，我们试过了各种方法。These two sentences mean the same. 各种方法 means all kinds of method or solutions or ways. We tried them all, but the first sentence it has an extra do this character because in the first sentence do is needed. Verbs a、uh, verb is put before the noun. However, in the second sentence, we 我们试过了各种方法 We tried all kinds of method. Here, though, can be omitted if verb is put before the noun. 各种 before a verb is also a structure from our young people's buzzword means you do a lot or you do things like in many aspects. 我们来看一个例子。来了中国，我各种不习惯。I can't get used to the life here in all kinds of aspects. So, 各种 here、uh, doesn't means uh like uh you have all kinds of something. It's just uh you can't get used to anything here. You can't get used to a lot of things here. This is what this sentence means. 继续，北京的气候。有什么特点？有什么特点？你也可以说有哪些特点。意思是 ，What features does he have？ 一年有春夏秋冬四个季节，非常清楚。In fact， 非常清楚 is not a very good sentence。最好说 ，You better say， 非常明显。或者 ，or you can say 四季分明。Okay, 四季分明 means four seasons are very obviously different from each other. So, especially for some、uh, northern countries or northern cities, you will clearly feel spring, summer, fall, and winter. That's why we use 四季分明 for this kind of climate. But, ah,、uh, 非常清楚。Mm, is not very often used here. 清楚 has another meaning. Usually, the meaning is clear about something or know something well. 比如说，我很清楚他在想什么。I knew what he was thinking about. 清楚 here usually means you、uh, know something well. And 明显意思是 obvious. 很明显，你不喜欢这个工作。It's very obvious that you don't like this job. Or in oral language, you might hear, 他明显不会 ，so he can't do something or he doesn't have a kind of skills. 他明显不会 ，he obviously can't do it. 可是我觉得这里只有冬天，好像没有春天。北京有春天，应该说这里的春天很短，冬天很长。应该说 ，before a sentence, 
uh, means the fact is, or you can translate it into should say something. 我们来看一个例句：我不习惯这里的生活。应该说，我不想习惯这里的生活。I don't get used to the life here. Or maybe I should say, or you can say, the fact is, I don't want to get used to the life here. 三月房子里的暖气还没停，现在都四月了，气温才十一度。我还穿着羽绒服呢。Okay, so new structure today. Ah,、uh, in fact, um,、uh, this structure some students might have seen it already. But today, let's ah、uh, do something in detail. So, do and the cai is used for the situation or condition. Okay, do the first character is used when the situation or condition is already good enough. And cai. For the second part of the sentence, usually it means、um, you already have enough or good condition and situation. However, there is no expected result coming. 我们来看课文中的句子。都四月了 ，It's already April. So the speaker used 都 here. 都四月了 ，It's already April means the speaker from his point of view. It is already very late, and、uh, it should be a warm season already. 气温，气温 temperature of the air 才十一度 but the temperature is only eleven Celsius. So 都 and 才 here we used them together means、um, it's already April. So according to the speaker, it's already late enough or warm enough. However. The temperature、uh, didn't go、uh, or didn't reach our expectation. We expected that the temperature should be、uh, a bit higher, so we feel a bit warmer, but only eleven Celsius. 我们再来看一个句子：都八岁了，才自己一个人睡觉。一个人 can be one person, but 一个人 before a verb means Do something alone, okay? 都八岁了 already eight years old. So from the speaker, it means the uh, uh boy or uh the person is already old enough to sleep alone at earlier age. However, he um started to sleep alone when he was already eight years old. So, which means, ah,、uh, it's pretty late or old age. And、uh, the position of Cai, you have to be very, very careful. 我们来看两句话 Let's see two sentences. 第一句 the first sentence is 他昨天十二点才睡。第二句，昨天才十二点。他就睡了。They look very similar. However, the meaning is very, very different. So where you put 才 might change the meaning in Chinese. 我们一个一个来看。Let's see them one by one. Okay, the first is、um, if you put the time or the number, the amount before 才 According to the speaker, it means he wants you to know. For、uh, for the speaker, it's pretty late, or、uh, it's pretty much, or maybe overdue. So he 昨天十二点才睡 Okay, 十二点 is the time, and 才 is put after the time. Means yesterday he slept at twelve, and the speaker thought twelve o'clock. Is already very late. And the second is, if you put "cai" before the time or the number, and usually in the second part of the sentence, you will see "jiu" and "le," like in the second sentence.、Um, it means for the speaker, it's pretty early, very little,、uh, not much, or maybe not enough. 
So to see the sentence, 昨天才十二点 only twelve o'clock yesterday, 他就睡了 He slept. Okay, so it means he slept very early yesterday. So be careful. If "cai" is after the time or number, it means pretty late or pretty much. But if it's before the time or the number, it means pretty early or very little, not enough. 我们一起来练习一下 We have five questions. The first three questions are、uh, translation. 请把前三句话翻译成中文。最后两个是选择题。The other two are、uh, the incomplete sentences with 才就了 And sometimes,、uh, maybe you may leave it blank. Okay. So question four is、uh, according to the speaker. It's already very late. But the fifth question is、um, according to the speaker. It's still pretty early. How? He started to learn swim when he was already eighteen, and according to the speaker, it's already pretty late. 他都十八岁了，才开始学游泳。Some student might put l after 游泳 because started to learn swimming, right? So it means. Started to learn swimming. It's past tense, so some students will think, "Oh, it's been done already." That's why we need to use "lo." No, 他都十八岁了 Here we already used a "lo" 
and then in the second part we're not emphasizing the event has been down we're just emphasizing it's pretty old when he is already 18 that's why uh, in a sentence le is not necessary 第二句, they have already been to 30 countries I've only been to 5 他们都去过 Okay, go after a verb means have done something. You have a kind of experience. It's snowing in northern Europe. Northern Europe is bay. Oh, okay, bay is the first character of um, north, and O is the uh, first character of Ojo. Our city is still very hot. 北欧都下雪了,下雪, to snow. 我们的城市还是很热. Okay, so 还是很热, still very hot. 第四句,三个月,他学会. According to the speaker, it's pretty late. Uh, so after three months, or she used three months, and he mastered it, or he achieved it. 正确答案是三个月他才学会 okay, 三个月他才学会 If it's late, then 才 should be put after the time. So 才 should not be put before 三个月, but after 三个月, so after 他 here. So the first... Uh, Part should be blank, and the second part is 才 第五句,三个月他学会了 According to the speaker, it's early So once you see 了 mostly It has to uh, be together with 就 So the correct answer is 才三个月 So 才 should definitely be put before the time Or if it's after the time, it means it's pretty late already Okay, so the first blank should be 才三个月他就学会了 Okay, 就 means it's pretty quick uh, Just three months, but she already mastered it 